Fire Tracks here on ESPN. We're coming to you today from the Omni in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Butch Krieger along with Army Armstrong as we get ready to go with first round competition here tonight on the Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge. A lot of activities going on here in Atlanta. Army, why don't you tell the people a little bit about what's going on? Right now, what's happening prior to the start of the event, we go through a driver's introduction. You can see the national points leader, David Morris, acknowledging the crowd. Gary Porter, currently number two in the national point chase. He waves back to the crowd. So all the big guns are here, along with the new driver we're going to be telling you a lot about later in the program, Butch. That's right. Steve Wilkie substituting for the injured Rod Litzow, who after flipping the USA number one around seven times this year has taking a break here for a while. Now he opted to take back kind of a sabbatical to get back in good physical shape. Wilkie, normally the uh, lead mechanic on the vehicle, will be doing a driver's. He can really be a player this year. And there's Scott Stevens acknowledging the crowd. He was last week's winner here at the Omni on the Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge. Army Armstrong had a chance to talk to him about that the win. winner last week from Woodland, Texas, Scott Stevens. And Scott, big win on the indoor circuit. Yeah, you know, we're just trying to get, you know, geared up for 1990, and, you know, this right here was a good start last week in Atlanta. The 1990s, when you built the truck for, when you came out this year, you came out late in the year, you said, we're not going to be a player, but you're playing havoc with the points in the bottom half of the top five, and you said you built the truck for 1990. You got to be tickled. You have three wins this year already. Yeah, you know, it's done real good, and, you know, and we've learned a lot through the year, and, and, and coming indoors, you know, we've put a lot of knowledge that we learned outdoors, and if you can make a truck really last outdoors, it'll do good indoors. Thanks, Army Armstrong. So we're about to get underway here at the Omni in Atlanta with the TNT Monster Truck Challenge. The Equalizer, the Carolina Crusher, are going down to the wire in their quest for the World Championship Points title. And we'll be the Grave Digger, USA number one, King Crunch, and the Buffalo Tremor. It's all coming your way in just a moment on Power Tracks. Power Tracks and the Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge is brought to you by the Heartbeat of America, today's Chevy trucks. Tracks, I'm Butch Krieger along with Army Armstrong. We're here at the Omni in Atlanta as we see Scott Stevens backing up to the starting line to get ready to go for first round here in King Crunch. He was quick qualifier tonight, right, Army? Yeah, he had quick qualifying time, so that'll give him the buy run and lane choice for the rest of the evening. Meanwhile, the Carolina qualified. He'll be going up against Mopar Magic, both those trucks out of North Carolina. Then we'll see USA number one up against the Nightlife Machine out of Nebraska. Remember, USA one has a new driver this evening. National points leader equalizer goes against Thunder Chicken. Thunder Chicken could be a sleeper in this competition, Butch. And then we have the rookie set of Jersey Outlaw and Mike Wine up against John Moore's No Problem. Let's look at this next lineup. The Grave Digger goes against Clydesdale. Clydesdale basically in his own hometown this week. And Johnny K and the Buffalo Trimmer up against Johnny Breen and Mad Dog. Stopper, Marvin Smith, Wild Hair. They're going to be going hand-to-hand. -hand. Both of them out of the Show Me State of Missouri as the quick qualifier makes a very easy pass in that key cross truck, which I don't believe he wants to tear anything up in the first round. That's right, Army Armstrong. He wants to save it to come back to quarterfinal action here tonight at the Omni. Well, we continue on. The crowd having a good time. Go-Go saluting the crowd here tonight at the Omni. Everything's in place for first-round competition. Here comes Gary Porter and the Chevrolet known as the Carolina Crusher. Well, it's the Carolina Crusher is going to be going up against a Dodge product, the Mopar Magic of Gary Wiggins, both driver out of the North Carolina State. Who's going to go to the next round? We're going to find out. This is going to be a good one. As we prepare to see them go into that starting line, they back over the dirt mound and go. This dirt mound has been a big problem for a lot of the drivers here this week in Atlanta. Army had a chance to explain this afternoon. You would think a mound of dirt would be no problem at all for these monster truck drivers, but that's not the case in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're going to explain why. The reason is there's a 45-degree ramp for the trucks to get on top. That's not the problem. The problem is the very top of the ramp is flat, like a pool table. That's presented some of the problems. You also have a 45-degree exit ramp. The problem is when they come off the flat ramp on top onto the exit ramp, they get what we call a dolphin effect. The truck will have a tendency to do this. What that does is throws them out of shape for the next jump. And in this indoor arena, there's only one more jump they've got before the finish line. The ramp is a major concern of these drivers competing here today in Atlanta at the Omni. So we're ready to go with this first round competition. Who's it going to be? The Carolina Crusher or Gary Wiggins in the Mopar Magic? Both drivers go with that first hump. Looks like Porter's got it figured out. He'll take the Chevrolet into the next 
round. And horsepower plays a factor here and a good start off. Carolina Crusher. He seemed to have the hill figured out. Let's see if the rest of the drivers are going to follow suit as Dave Wysori comes out, Butch. The nightlife Chevrolet out of Grand Island, Nebraska, comes rolling the starting line, and look who he's up against, Army Armstrong. Steve Wilkie was the mechanic. Now he's the main man in the Ever Jasmer operation as the previous driver, Rod Litzow, who many times has been in his truck, is a spectator this afternoon, Butch Gregor. So back on the starting line, both drivers sit in. Let's see how well Wilkie does as he gets ready to drop the hammer on USA number one in one of his first races. He's out of there, and he's going to take a win. Butch, awfully good driving job by Wilkie. He'll be moving to that next round. So Steve Wilkie with his first win on the TNT circuit. Rod Litzow proves Army had a chance to talk to Steve. Steve, the run looked awfully smooth out there. Yeah, it felt really good, Army. Uh, it's the first time I've ever negotiated the dirt mound uh, in competition, and uh, it feels really good. I'm looking forward to it. You got confidence in the truck for the next round? We're going to run it, don't you? You know who you're going to get to the next round? Uh, the winner of the Equalizer Thunder Chicken race. We're here. You're right in the middle of the big time. Good luck to you. Thanks, Army. Back on the starting line, it's pairing number two here in the first round. It'll be Tom Bites driving Thunder Chicken tonight for Kid Prairie as he comes up against David Morris and the Equalizer. David, your current national points leader out in Tennessee is not taking anything for granted. He'll line up in the far lane away from the camera. This Thunder Chicken truck, man, I tell you what, Butch, he can really come up on you in a heartbeat. He's been to the finals a couple of times this year. Let's see what's going to happen indoors. Awfully close at the end, but the equalizer dominates this particular round here at the Omni. So a good win for David Morris and the equalizer as he continues to lead the points here on the Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge. When we come back, more first round racing action. Welcome back to Power Tracks here on ESPN. I'm Butch Krieger along with Army Armstrong as we bring to you the Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge. Fabulous Omni in Atlanta, Georgia. Our next pairing coming up will be Mike Wine out of Ben Salkin, New Jersey, driving the Jersey Outlaw owned by Nick Rossi. He'll be up against John Moore and no problem out of Lafayette, Tennessee. Put something kind of interesting here. I was just noticing it. Uh, we've seen one of the Dodge Project run. We've seen some of the Chevrolet's run. But in a qualifying this afternoon, the guys that came up opposite each other, two of the strongest Fords. No problem. And Mike Wine and an awesome Jersey Outlaw. This is going to be a Donnybrook right here. And Moore with a little head start out of the gate. Can the Outlaw take him on the top end? It's awfully close to call. Rookie driver comes back to take the win. Well, oh, almost getting in the wall down here, but that's how hard they're pushing in the Omni. So a big win for the Jersey Outlaw. There appears to be no damage on the machine as he comes in contact with the hay bale down on the floor. Let's check with Army and Mike about the run. Mike, why qualifying kind of worked out real good for you. You wound up in the bottom half of the bracket. All the big guys are sitting in the top of this thing having a war. You're looking awfully good right now. Yeah, I'm trying my best. I went out there and qualified against Gary Porter, which is a tough competitor, so he made me run hard. And made me run good, made me run good this round. You have yet to put that first win under your belt. You've been to the final once. Are you going to be able to make it to the final here in Atlanta tonight? I'm trying. I'm trying the best I can. I'll push your truck as hard as it'll go against every one of these Chevys. A real Ford lover there, Army Armstrong. And here we come now with Bennett Clark and the Georgia-based machine known as Clydesdale number no. 2. Butch is not on the Georgia-based machine. His sponsor is in the audience this evening, his engine builder. And he would love to put out a good run, but look who he draws in this round. Probably one of the most popular trucks on the tour, Dennis Anderson. Great. Oh, and look at this, Butch. Anderson with problems once again. I believe it's that axle again, Army. Front wheel drive. He puts the grave digger on the trailer. I, I won't call it an upset. Bennett Clark takes the big win in front of the hometown folks. Here's Bennett with Army. Bennett put one of the big guys in this sport on the trailer. Uh, yeah, the grave digger, he comes to Atlanta. He's messing with the wrong person. He's messing with the Clydesdale here. You always run super good in this area. What is it? Is it the hometown crowd? Your sponsors here or what? Because you always run strong. Well, you want to run good for your sponsors. Uh, North Georgia, they've helped me a lot, and I've tried to run hard for them here. We're doing the best we can. The Grave Digger just messed with the wrong one tonight. And you can see the problems. The Grave Digger only pulling on the front wheels. Clydesdale takes advantage. The Mike Hardy prepared Chevrolet machine goes to the next round. Well, but you've been around motorsports just as long as I have. And you know one thing, you take them any way you can get them. You better believe it, Army. And here we come now with John Breen and that Mad Dog Chevrolet. And he'll be going up against the young man. 
another sensation on the tour, John Kwasniewski. Now both of these drivers have taken win in 1989 on the outdoor circuit. Neither one has put that first win under their belt indoors. Rookie driver, far side away from the Kelly Old Veteran, John Freeman, the mad dog, closest to us. The kid out of New York City puts the veteran away in this round, Butch. So Kwasniewski with the win. He'll advance to the next round here on the Renegades TNT Monster Truck Challenge. Let's go down with Johnny and Army. Well, Johnny, the truck really looks to be taking some strange, I mean strange bounces coming off of that hill. Yeah, we're not really used to running indoors. This is the first time the truck's running indoors, and we kind of designed it for outdoors, so we have to do a little changes. What kind of changes are you going to do real quick? And right now, I can't really do nothing because it's in the suspension, and I can't work it out right now. We'll just have to go, to go with the flow. Next pairing coming to the line here is stomper two, Marvin Smith, starving Marvin Smith out of Arnold, Missouri. Marvin Smith last week found out something that really helped him as he's going to be lining up against Bob Bream out of Missouri. Both drivers, by the way, out of the show me state of Missouri. But Marvin Smith last week decided not to shift the truck manually, even though it's an automatic transmission. He put it in drive, such as you and I would with day automobile, and the truck ran so much better. He's going to try that combination again this week, too, Butch, to see if it works for him. Another surprise, Marvin Smith was second fastest qualifier tonight, and he takes the win, Arnie. There you go. The transmission has been the problem all year long for Marvin Smith and the famous Stomper. So, Marvin Smith's got to be tickled with that win as he acknowledges himself to the crowd. Army's down on the floor right now with Marvin. Marvin, what's going on here? Second quick qualifying time tonight. You look smoother than anybody out there. Army, I'm getting tired of losing. <laughs> i tell you what, we, uh, I'm doing something different tonight. I'm going to a fully automatic transmission. I've been running a manual shift transmission, and apparently I'm not shifting the right point. So I thought, well, I'd try mechanical. Maybe it's a little smarter than I am, a little faster. But most of all, I'm just tired of losing. I want to win for a while. I've had a rough season. That completes the first round of racing from Atlanta on the TNT Monster Truck Challenge. When we return, it's the quarterfinals, including a race between the Equal and USA number one. Please stay tuned with us as the Equalizer climbs towards the World Championship. This is quarterfinal action coming your way. It will be the Carolina Crusher of Gary Porter out of North Carolina up against the Lone Star State based King Crunch and Scott Stevens. Well, Scott Stevens is the guy that came into this national championship point chase way late in the year, but believe me, he has turned into a big cog in this wheel. You're going to see why he's jumped way up in these points. He's going to be a definite player in the points. There's no doubt about it, considering his big win last week here in Atlanta. As the final round of competition was going on, Scott Stevens, we thought he wasn't going to make it to the line, if you remember, Army, because the simple fact was they were so long and get the machine back into the arena. Watch him go as he leaves the starting line. Crusher tries hard, but oh, man, look at the win that King Crunch took. Scott Stevens and his crew chief, definitely have what it takes to be a winner. Not just competitive, they know what it takes to win. They're going to be a player the rest of the year. Replay of last week's final, let's see who's going to win it. Stevens are the number two in points chase, Carolina Crusher. Pressure is on both drivers now. Back on the line we go, Alan Goss, hands in the air raised, telling, signifying that both drivers are ready to go. Let's see what happens now. RPM comes up, they're out of the gate, they're on their way. Crusher trying, but look at Stevens. He makes it two in a row over Crusher. But it's amazing. Scott Stevens out of Texas has figured this track out, and he's not telling anybody else. Here's Army with Scott. You really could have messed up his year with that run. He was trying to pull back on the points. You took him out of this thing. The equalizer still in the elimination. Right. You know, it's going to help, uh, you know, more out with the equalizer a lot. And plus, it's helping us a lot, you know, going home for a few weeks, getting ready for 1990 for the series. Hey, if we go home with a few wins behind us, you know, we'll be really hard to beat next year. And you know, we're going to be here in the final tonight, I think. The truck, Heather, you know, we're still just holding way back on the pyre. You know, we can step it up if we need to. Our next race in the quarterfinal round is USA number one with Steve Wilkie up against the Equalizer and David Morris. And David, he's the rookie. Last year, USA won, captured the world title with rookie driver Rod Litzow. Earlier today, Army Armstrong spent some time with the owner and builder of the Equalizer, Gary Cook, and asked him about this great achievement by his driver. David Morris has been almost a Cinderella story this year. Uh, how did you pick him to be the driver of your monster truck? Well, he lives and breathes them. I mean, that's, that's, that's his hobby, his life, his trucks. He not only lives and breathes them, he drives them, doesn't he? He sure does. He's done a wonderful job this year. <laughs> you know, 
we was going to shoot for the points, and we never really thought we had that big a shot against the guys with so much experience, but uh, it's come around. It's been a good year for us. Now, Army is track side with Rod Litzow. Litzow, stand with me at the end of the Atlanta Omni truck. You've got a new driver up there. What's going through the mind of that driver and you right now? Well, basically right now, I told him when you're up on the starting line with this hump being indoors, you have to come off that first hill a little bit slower. But he's getting, he's getting used to this, but it is hard coming out that first set. That's where the main part of this whole race is when you come out the first hill. Let me ask you a question. Is this like any other kind of motorsport? It's a big truck. It's a lot of horsepower, but the most important thing is time in the seat. Yeah, it is. You got to get some time back there. He's catching on really fast, you know. That's why we get going. We'll have a good next year. So we see USA 1 leaving the Omni here as we get ready for our next round here in quarterfinal action. And here we go with Bennett Clark, a Georgia-based Clydesdale, up against a New Jersey-based Jersey outlaw and Mike Wine. You know, Butch, I'm going to tell you about something. At the end of the interview a moment ago, I figured out why Everett Jasper and his crew are so successful. They all really believe in each other. At whatever level you're involved with the USA 1, you believe in the other guy that's helping you. Speaking of helping, who's going to help the other guy in the next round? Chevrolet versus Ford in Atlanta. Oh, Butch, it's so close, I can't tell. We might have to have a replay on this one. No one knows it's anybody's race. We're waiting to find out who is the winner here in the Omni between the Ford and the Chevrolet. And look at him, watch the replay as you see him. And Jersey Outlaw just nipped out the Clydesdale machine right there. Let's see if Army can get a word with Bennett Clark. Jersey Outlaw got you just by a scope. Well, he's running real hard. We, uh, I got a little too much air right there. The front end came down a little hard. He made a nice swing jump. He beat me right at the end, but I'll be back. You did a great job in your hometown for your sponsor. We're glad to see you turning this kind of a show. Uh, yeah, I'm glad to do the best I can. My motor man, Mike Hardy, did a great job. We, we're running hard. I'll be back. The Jersey Outlaw ain't going to get the Clydesdale. Great attitude that young man has. Here we go with the next pairing here in quarterfinal action. It'll be Johnny K, John Kwasniewski out of New York against the Missouri base, Stomper 2 and Marvin Smith. Marvin Smith, further away from the camera, made a change in the transmission. He's letting the truck shift itself. Meanwhile, the kid closest to the camera out of New York, he just slogged at all kind of horsepower. It's going to be an awfully close race in the Omni. Boys, look at him side by side. But look at Marvin He's determined, Army. He's taking another win right here. Stomper advances to the next round. So a handy Marvin Smith is down with Army Armstrong. Marvin, whatever you're doing, keep doing it, son. It's working. Well, it's a rainy night in Georgia, isn't it? <laughs> We're running here. Uh, well, I'm more than staying on it, pouring the coals to it, and let her fly. The transmission change you made seems to really work for you. Yeah, it does. I've, I've got it set for about 5,600, and it seems to be cracking pretty good, but she died right there when I hit the cars. I think it's got a lot to do with the weather outside, and you know, everything's just wet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what he's talking about in reference to the weather outside, yes, we are indoors, it's dry here, but it's a torrential rainstorm going on outside. The air density out there has got everybody messed up. Right now, he's got the hot hand. Let's see if he can hold on and stay alive in Atlanta. That completes the quarterfinal round of racing on the TNT Monster Truck Challenge in Atlanta. When we come back, the semifinals and finals are racing your way. Stay with us. Power Tracks and the Renegades team. Here on ESPN, I'm Butch Krieger along with Army Armstrong as we get ready to go with semifinal action here in the Omni at Atlanta. Well, Butch, right now, the finish line judge is showing a replay of the run between Bennett Clark and Mike Wine a little bit earlier. There's still some discrepancy now. The, the run is official. The win was given to the jersey. Bennett Clark's not buying it. He doesn't like that call at all. Meanwhile, back to the semifinal action. I think a lot of his fans here sitting on the sides kind of said, hey, look, you know, you ought to go and look at that, see what happened, who won. You know, we want to talk about it. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. It was close. But that was a while ago. Now we got to go now. Time to go back to the business of hand with the upset Bennett Clark and his sponsor. We go to the starting line for the next call, Butch Craiger. Back on the line we go, and here we come now. It'll be the equalizer and David Morris as he comes up against King Crunch, Scott Stevens out of Woodlands, Texas. What a match is he going to be? Butch. Let's look at some parallels. Engine location, both engines to the rear and low. Suspension difference, advantage would have to go to the equalizer. But Key Crunch right now, and for about the last month, has been holding a hot hand. 
Equalizer's had the hot hand all year, but Crunch is coming after him. Now the game we go Morris with a whole shot. That's what's going to win this race. If he gets there, he does. Whoa, Whoa. Close to the wall. Man, man, they are running them hard inside, Butch. Man, oh man, right on the brakes. Good job, David. He takes the win right there. Fantastic win for David Morris here in the Equalizer. As you see, it's just by the front wheels. How close can you get? You got the win. I didn't know. I was worried about stopping for this wall and keeping my truck out of uh, Scott's truck, just keeping everything under control and stopping. We'll let you go and get back to the pit area. You're going to the final. Scott Stevens, nothing to be ashamed of this week. Yeah, it's the quickest pass we ran on the weekend. It just wasn't, you know, wasn't meant to be. You know, we're getting there. We were real happy with the weekend, though. And our next pairing semifinals, the winner here to meet the equalizer and David Morris. Is it going to be the Jersey Outlaw and Mike Wine or starving Marvin Smith the stomper two? Now remember, Marvin Smith made a change, qualified second. He would have to be the odds-on favorite, but Mike Wine made a different idea. Look at the Ford. Four, a whole shot by the Ford. A Ford and Chevrolet final at the Omni. That's what we're going to have next time out, but A pair of rookies will be going to the finish here tonight in Atlanta. Army's down with Mike Wine. Mike Wine is final time in Atlanta, and you're going to be there representing the Ford team. Yeah. Equalizer's been hiding from me all year. Now I got him indoors. I couldn't get him outdoors, but I got him indoors now, and it's my track. You really believe in yourself. This is it. This is going to be your first win. This is it. This is going to be the first win of the year. He, he's got lane choice. Does that bother you at all? Doesn't bother me at all. I'll run any side of the track he wants to put me on. I'm ready for him. Back on the starting line, we see the replay here, and look at the outlaw, the whole shot army is what won that race. You know, I believe, yeah, you're right, the whole shot won the race, but I talked about lane choice a minute ago. I believe he's gonna get to run in the lane that he wants to in the final. Yeah, looky here. Equalizer comes out, lane choice goes to the far lane. That's the Chevrolet. Ford comes to qualifying time. Everybody's on their feet for the final in the Omni budget. Chevrolet against Ford. And who's it gonna be out of the game we go? Chevrolet or Ford? Chevrolet night here in the Omni in Atlanta, Georgia, as the Equalizer takes the win. And David Morris continues to dominate the points. Army's trackside with both drivers. Dave, is this one as sweet as the first one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I needed that win bad because uh, I need to stay way out as far as I can away from that Carolina Crusher. He's, he's hot on my heels, but I'm going to do my best to put him away this year. Mike Wine. Congratulations on getting to the final. Nothing to be ashamed of. You ran an awfully good race all night long. Nah, I'm not ashamed at all. Anytime there's a Ford against a Chevrolet instead of two Chevrolets in a final, I'm proud. That does it from the Omni in Atlanta, Georgia on the TNT Monster Truck Challenge. David Morrison, the Equalizer, Lincoln, their world championship points lead reporter, and the Carolina Crusher. And Mike Wine and the Jersey Outlaw let the world know that they'll have to be dealt with in 1990. For Army Armstrong, I'm Butch Krieger. Thanks for joining us on Power Tracks.